So here we are all loaded up, ready to head out to Rally on the Rocks 2013. We've got all the machines loaded, we've got our box truck ready, and our Sprinter van ready, so we're going to hit the road. First stop is in Green River at the famous Ray's Tavern. It's a must for anyone headed through Green River. Here's the gang hanging out. We gotta check out some cool old vintage dirt bike t-shirts and enjoy some great food. After a great lunch, we were ready to hit the road again. The next stop was Moab, Utah, which is the outdoor mecca of the world. The gang got busy right away, making sure we were ready for the trails. We had to put skid plates on a couple machines along with roofs and rear view mirrors. This is also where we checked into our hotel and met our first couple of winners from our Rally on the Rocks 2013 vacation trip giveaway. We're Phil and Linda and we're from Lapine, Oregon and we were the lucky winners of the uh, Rocky Mountain ATV Rally on the Rocks contest. After that we got all cleaned up and took Phil and Linda out to a great local steakhouse. We were able to sit out on the patio and listen to live music as we ate. Wednesday morning here in Moab on the first day of riding. We drove to the old Spanish Trail Arena and began unloading all the machines and getting everything ready for the ride. This is also where we met our second set of winners, Matt and Warren. So my name is Warren Koba and this is my buddy Matt Ward. And uh, I was one of the fortunate ones to win the trip, sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV. Hi, we're at Rally on the Rocks today. It's the first day of riding. It's Wednesday morning. We are, we're pretty involved this year. We're pretty excited as well. Uh, some of the things we've got going on, last night we sponsored the trail guide dinner. We had pizza and drinks and, and got them all taken care of for their initial meeting. This morning at the, uh, the trail guide riders meeting, we went ahead and we're feeding them a little continental breakfast, a little coffee and donuts. Yeah. Get them ready, we want to take care of the trail guides. We've got some prizes for them at the end of the week and uh, something for their little raffle. Um, we also were sponsoring a trail every day and that's something that's exciting for us too. We actually are going to go out on the trail. We're sending some of the guys out early to get lunch set up. So the trail we're doing today is Hell's Revenge. It's a pretty fun trail. It's, it's like the epitome of, uh, of Moab. It's all the best stuff in Moab. It's a slick rock. It's straight up, straight down. It's gnarly. I love it. So after the driver's meeting, Everyone headed out to their machines and got in line for their trail. Hey, this is Josh from RockyMountainATVMC.com. Just here to talk about, since we're a trail sponsor this year, we've got a ton of t-shirts, hats, different kinds of swag we're giving out to the customers while we're on the trail and before we hit the trail as well. There's plenty of stuff that all of our, a lot of our vendors were gracious enough to give us, so everybody pretty much come away with a winner or with something today. Okay, all right, I think they're ready for us. So. So after everyone picked up their swag bag, it was finally time to hit the trail. There was a provided police escort through town and up to each trailhead to keep everyone safe. Once we got to the trailhead, everyone was gathered for a mandatory driver meeting. So much fun, you know, riding on that slick rock and yeah. steep as can be, off camber, you know. Oh uh, yeah. You know, severe drop off, severe climbs. And we just had a ball. We were laughing the whole way. Today we're doing J Dogs. Uh, Ray's gonna go out there and get everything uh, set up, cooked up, and so when the when the group arrives, we're all ready to go. After lunch, we had the privilege of witnessing an awesome couple getting married in front of one of the most famous views in Moab. Check out their sweet honeymoon rig. 
After the wedding, we watched a couple drivers tackle the nearby obstacle called Hell's Gate. And after Hell's Gate, it was on to the hot tubs. Only one person in our group dared drop into Devil's Hot Tub. It's a 20 foot almost vertical climb out, but luckily for our driver, we had Ray on the end of the road helping him out. Good, I guess. Good? Good job. <laughs> so we hooked him up with a set of tie downs just in case Ray's not there next time. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, if I would have known that, I still wouldn't have done it. <laughs> so the next big obstacle is called the Escalator. We watched a couple of Jeeps attempt it before sending any other side by side. Don't happen, don't happen, don't happen. Don't that was close. So on that note, let's send a razor up. See how it does. Oh my god. <laughs> Not recommended. There you go. And after that, we had tip over challenge. This is basically the last big obstacle on Hell's Revenge. Good job. Right now, that's how we do it. Hi, guys. How you liking the honeymoon? What do you guys think of the ride? Dude, that was fun. Good. That was some gnarly trails. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely something we've never done before, so cool. it's a good experience. Cool. Hats off to Rocky Mountain. Yeah, the walls were really straight up. <laughs> yeah. The descents were, it seemed like more than straight down. Good for them. It seemed like you're just standing on your nose. And then yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, th I thought I could reach out the window and touch the ground really? on a couple of the descents. Excited for tomorrow then, huh? Yeah, we can't wait for Heck tomorrow. Yeah. Heck yeah. Cane Creek's an awesome trail. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Tomorrow we're gonna do Cane Creek. It's a little bit more mellow. Here we are lined up for Cane Creek. We're having our driver's meeting right now. Get ready to head out on the trail. So Cane Creek, I think, was probably our favorite part, which was uh, lots of fast sand washes, and then there's Crick that runs through it. You're blasting through the whole time, so that was a highlight. This trail was an in and out trail for us because the huge rock section in Mule Shoe Canyon on the edge of a cliff with no bypass. A couple guys went up and back down this obstacle, including one of our contest winners. Phil wanted to ride up in a wildcat. And besides the one sketchy part, I think he was having a great time. Hey Phil, look to your oh, right. God, I'm open about look to the right. <laughs> Just a little drop. <laughs> Woo! So after we gave Phil the ride of his life, we began making our way back to where Ray had lunch set up for us. Uh, we're having pulled pork sandwiches. Here we are having lunch on Cane Creek Trail, Valley on the Rocks, 2013. After lunch, we made our way back to Cane Creek Trailhead. From there, we were escorted back to the arena. Friday is Poison Spider Mesa. We're just going to do some hoagies on on that day. Poison Spider is a lot of fun. I really like that trail. Poison Spider Mesa has a lot to offer. We've got really steep slick rock climbs and rocky ledge climbs as well. There's Eric doing what he does best, helping everybody over the obstacles. 
Great job, Eric. We saw a couple good wheel stands in the wedgie. And even some guy wanting to get his oil changed. Hi, Wade. We found out that climbing Tippy Dome is a little easier in four-wheel drive and is not recommended in two. Everyone help flip the razor back over and get these guys back on the trip. We have lunch up by the arch. But after that it was time for lunch. We had delicious hoagies with all the fixings. Poison Spider had some great views. So after that we started making our way back. Look over, we'll say cheese. Cheese. Okay. Get over here. <laughs> Over, hit the gas. <laughs> you, you have good insurance. Take some photos of that. <laughs> Friday night was the big dinner and raffle. We ate some great pasta from Pasta Jays. After dinner, they had Eric come up on stage and say a few words. You know, it's really been a great honor to, to be involved and see all these new faces. And uh, uh, we've got a hundred dollar gift certificate for all of them. Everyone's having a great time. Saturday's a big day we're going to do Behind the Rocks. Behind the Rocks is the most difficult trail we're doing, but I think it'll turn out to be most everyone's favorite by the end of the day. doing a big old shrimp boil. I guess we can get the sprinter out to where lunch is so we can haul all the stuff out there. It's gonna be a big party. After lunch we rode a couple wheelies up Pummer Hill. And then we had to lower everyone off a white knuckle with ropes. Holy cow. That's awesome. This was a lot of people's favorite. After white knuckle, a few guys took flight from the sand at the bottom of the trail. After we got off the trail, we decided to try out Sunset Grill for dinner. It was an amazing view, along with some great food. And that was the perfect ending to our adventure at Rally on the Rocks 2013. We'll see you next year. <laughs>